What's going on guys? I am Zach of the Austere Wizard and unless you're in a different hemisphere um, than where I am and it's not spring, um, it is still a great time of year for you because it's, it's not only is it the nice weather here in, in uh, the U.S. you have nice, uh, everything is getting greener and uh, nice weather is coming back unless you're in like Cali or somewhere where it's always nice but here in New England it's getting nice, weather is nice and warm Red Sox are a number one team in the MLB, which is just awesome. Great recovery from last year. But I'm not going to talk about baseball, and I assume half of you, or more than half of you, don't even give a hoot about the MLB. Um, that was a nice little kill I got there. Playing on the studio. Uh, final score of this match is 20-2. and two. Going ham, channeling my inner Savage. Uh, Savage Life Studios. Self-promotion right there. Go check, out, go check us out. New content coming soon. But again, I assume most of you don't really care for that either, but maybe you will. I'll warm you up to it. But as you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be talking about the new Call of Duty um, that is set to come out um, in the holiday season time. I'll go more into depth on the expected release date in a few moments, but first let's go over what we do know. Um, we do know there's a new Call of Duty coming. Activision can, has confirmed that. Um, as we expect every November, usually November 13th, November 12th, through the second Tuesday of November, um, which is, I think, Veterans Day. Um, and so usually re release it then. I know uh, last year, or yeah, 2012, they released it, um, I think it was a day later or something, because was, the calendar was weird last year. But, so this year, we're expected to see the new Call of Duty. Um, it's Infinity Ward's turn to take the series back. Because this Black Ops 2 is Treyarch, and you know how that works. They switch up every year now. Um, even though Infinity Ward has kind of um, gone away, it's kind of a couple different companies working on it, but it's still going to be a great game. Now, a few months ago, Drifter, many of you probably know him, very popular YouTuber, um, he said that he had very reliable sources about a new Call of Duty called Ghost. Now, Call of Duty Ghost is like, what? That kind of sounds stupid. I, I want Modern Warfare 4. Even though we already have Call of Duty Modern War, Mo Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, this would be Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. Now, I never thought they would go in that direction. I thought they would kind of switch it up um, a lot, and it looks like they're going to take that route. Um, so like Drifter said, Call of Duty Ghost. Now, this website, I think it's called Tesco. It's a, I'm pretty sure it's a UK-based retailer online. Uh, they had Black Op, or the new Call of Duty up for like pre-sale or whatever, right? or whatever it was up. Um, it keeps going like up and down on their site. Like they keep putting it up, taking it down, whatever. Um, but the interesting part about it was that they showed the box art. Um, the box art for Call of Duty Ghosts, the next Call of Duty in the franchise series, um, has been leaked. Now, I don't know. But looking at the old Call of Duties, I'll throw some pictures up on the screen for you so you can compare and make your own judgment call. As realistic as this looks and as legitimate the sources are and all the speculation around it, something tells me it's not the final box art. They don't usually use, like, it looks like a real person. Who knows, maybe that could be game footage because um, the new consoles are set to come out. And you saw, if you haven't seen, you can go back and find them. Um, it's all over the web. When they announced the PS4, the PlayStation 4, they um, did graphic demonstrations, and it is amazing. So, really, the box art could be... Um, computer generated, but I don't know, just the overall look of it, um, you can see it on screen now, um, it, it doesn't really look like a Call of Duty game to me, I don't know about you guys, um, like the, the fonts, like the, the ghost font looks a little weird, but here I'm going to read you the description, I'll also have it on screen for you, that Tesco supplies with the game. The franchise that has defined a generation of gaming is set to raise the bar once again with the all-new Call of Duty Ghost. Published by Activision and developed by Infinity Ward, the studio that created the original Call of Duty and the seminal Call of Duty Modern Warfare series, Call of Duty Ghost ushers in the next generation of the franchise, delivering riveting all-new gameplay experience built in on an extremely new story setting and cast, all powered by the next generation Call of Duty engine. Now, the main thing you need to pick up, a lot of it's just mumbo jumbo that no one really cares about, is the new Call of Duty engine. No one's really talking about this. What this means is we're probably going to see a lot better 
motions and like death animations and just overall beautifulness um, of the game. It's going to look so much better. Now, the engine I really like, I think it's the Infinity engine. I'm not exactly sure. But the engine used in Madden is unbelievable. Madden 13, holy cow, I love that game. I haven't, I personally don't own it, but I have played it a few times. And the hits in that game, oh, it's amazing. Now imagine that sort of thing in Call of Duty where every death looks different. There are no two deaths alike. I think that would be really interesting if they could implement some crazy new sort of engine into the game. But another thing that's interesting, besides the description and the cover art, is the release date. I know I said I talked about this in the, earlier in the video, so now here's your chance to listen. Um, they said December 30th. Now, that kind of seems weird, don't you think? Usually it's November, early November. First, like I said, the second Tuesday of November, usually, Veterans Day. No, December. That's 12, the 12th month, the last month of the year, 30th. That's almost New Year's Eve, or New Year's Day, whatever you want to go by. The year's almost over at that point. Now, that could be a placeholder date, like the placeholder amount for Watch Dogs on PlayStation 4, which was on Amazon for $100. That has been confirmed as a placeholder. Not Games will not be $100. Don't freak out, guys. That was all just a placeholder and a huge thing. Uh, it's kind of blown over now. But will it come out late December? Are they holding it off for the new consoles? We're just going to have to wait and see. Leave your thoughts on the release date, box art, whatever, all in the description. Or not. Uh, leave all your thoughts in the comments below. I'm going to bring you guys more coverage on Call of Duty Ghost as it comes out. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it, and make sure to subscribe for more Call of Duty Ghost content. And until next time, Wizard out.